This is oh. the Romney family. Yeah. Right. Um, and if and of course there on um, on uh, Governor Romney's knee is mm -hmm. his adopted grandson, mm -hmm. who is an African American adopted African American child, Kieran Romney. And he captions for this one. One of these things <laughs> is not. <laughs> <laughs> Does it yeah. the same? And that little baby front and center would be uh, the one. We're Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. MSNBC has gotten a lot of blowback for that Melissa Harris Perry interview. I've got political diary editor and Fox News contributor Jason Riley joining me. Jason. Uh, Ms. Harris Perry tearfully apologized. Mm -hmm. Mitt Romney accepted the apology. Right. Yeah. Why are we talking about this? Well, I thought Mitt Romney was very gracious in his apology, and we wouldn't expect any less of him. He's, he's always proved himself to be a gentleman. Um, I didn't buy the apology, though, Why? Mary. I mean, she suggested in her apology, and she apologized on, on Twitter and, and on air, um, she suggested that it was sort of a segment gone awry, that um, she had intended the conversation to be uplifting. Um, I, I, I somehow doubt that. You, you invite four comedians onto a liberal political talk show, show a picture of Mitt Romney as black grandchild, and you expect to have an uplifting construction conversation about what transracial adoption. I think the segment went exactly as planned and that her apology is really about the blowback, not about how the segment went. And you think that this is a problem that MSNBC has, oh, uh, not certainly. just with her, but yes. with other, other I think guests. there's a pattern at MSNBC of them hiring black mediocrities like Melissa Harris Perry, Michael Eric Dyson, Ture, and of course the granddaddy of them all, Al Sharpton, <laughs> simply to race bait. What That's do you mean what by they race do. Ba what do you mean by race bait? I mean bait? that they come on the air and they say racially inflammatory things. They drag race into discussions where they often don't belong. And their take on it is generally that all the black people's problems are caused by white people. And if you disagree with that, Mary, you're a racist. Jason. MSNBC is not winning in the ratings <laughs> war. So, the, so American viewers have uh, come to their own conclusions right. about the, the worthiness of watching programs mm -hmm. like this or not. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't that be enough? Shouldn't we let the market decide if, the market if, if is we deciding. want this or not? And, and it's encouraging that there's not a lot of appetite for these types of discussions, but I still think it's important to call it out when it occurs. I mean, it's not helping blacks or helping for anyone in America to think that the points of view that are expressed by blacks on MSNBC are representative of the larger black population or even particularly responsible remarks and behavior that we're hearing. Is it notable that Glenn Beck came out and defended her? Um, no, not to my mind, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to leave it at that. Political Diary Editor Jason Riley, thanks so much for joining us.